What's up guys, Gas Ed Steve here, um, and as you can see, and as you can probably hear, I've got my Sony PlayStation Bleem Sync 1.0 um, working. So this is a fix for my original email, uh, original email, what a twat, it's not an email, it's a video. Um, last time in regards to my PlayStation Classic on Bleem Sync 1.1 when I loaded it all up, actually froze and uh, it was stuck on one screen so um, I know what I've done and I know what the fix is now so basically when I when I've done um, Bleem Sync 1.1.0 um, the upgrade I loaded all the files and then when I was transferring it over to um, EFAT is it EFAT I think it's EFAT um, I forgot the files so I didn't copy them back over and then I sort of like loaded back up and thought ah oh, shit I haven't done this so on and so forth so I kind of botched it and uh, which is typical gas said Steve really and uh, it didn't work and I wonder why it didn't work and it was because I jumped a stage so um, if you go through the what this isn't going to be a walkthrough by the way um, but I am going to tell you what the fix was um, if you follow the instructions letter by letter and bit by bit and section by section it is really quite easy to do um, it's just if you're a man like me and you decide that you know better to than follow the instructions um, you will have problems so basically follow the instructions letter by letter bit by bit don't jump any sort of like stages and so on and so forth. Um, I had the issue where um, I was still trying to use the same memory card to try it over. I deleted all the files, um, tried it all again. It was still freezing, so on and so forth. It sounds stupid, doesn't it? But you have to format that uh, memory stick again um, because it wipes everything off. So it's a 64 meg, uh, 64 gigabyte uh, hard drive, memory stick, hard drive, memory stick whatever memory stick um, and uh, you have to uh, format it on a software online um, so it formats the whole 64 um, gigabytes because you can't do that on the PC which is a pain in the ass um, when you format it all um, again letter by letter keep going those normal and uh, you will eventually come to this screen here and I don't know if you can hear that let me move you closer Dodgy angle. Uh, there. So we've got RetroArch. Um, I have loaded some software up on that, which is cool. Uh, we've got Bleem Sync here and epilepsy warning. Get absolute epilepsy. Go careful. Visit a doctor. All that. And um, here's all my games. I don't know what these blank ones are actually. There's a couple of blank ones, but obviously, when I press, there's nothing. So, uh, but these are all the games that I've loaded up, and it's a very simple process to load it up as well. Um, you basically uh, um, wire your PlayStation up to your PC and uh, play it from there. So, um, it is so so simple. I'm so so happy that it's working now. So, um, this is all the games that I've got, which is pretty much all the games that. I really want at the moment. Um, I don't know why I've got two Grand Theft Autos there. What a plonker. Um, yeah, I am well, well happy. Well gel with this. All the Spyros. Um, there's quite a few Star Wars games that I still need to load up on there. Um, all of these games here are roughly around about um, 20, 26 gigs, I think it was. So, again, happy days with like storage. Um, 52 games I think it is oh, I've got all the Resident Evils which are wicked um, I have got where's Resident Evil 1 oh there we go there we go um, well happy well well happy um, the RetroArch one as well you can load it up pretty simply enough um, I'm really happy so this was literally just going to be an update video in regards to um, if anybody's got that freezing problem literally just format that memory stick and you should be good to go and again follow all the instructions bit by bit um, stage by stage and you will enjoy Bleem Sync 1.0 and that's my mouth mm. Bleem Sync 1.0 and uh, you can play all the games that you want to play 
how you want to play them and when you want to play them and I want to play Castlevania this will probably be my last PlayStation Classic video you'll be glad to hear because I can now just play games over the moon with this haven't played this for years and years and years such a good game such an expensive game so again it's really is a case of um, with these emulators you can just play whatever you want to play and crack on with it rather than worrying about sort of like spending an absolute fortune trying to buy it back and collect and things like that so In. I'm just going to show you it working. That's all I want to do. There you go. Love, love this game. And there we go. PlayStation Classic. Bleem Sync 1.0 working. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. It was not